Just like the title of your essay, Gene Jenks isn't just teaching at a new big class. So what I want now for you to do. Two of his students are teleconferencing from Tuck to Yuck Tuck. We have things right in our own school, or in Tuck, your school too. You're busy guys over there. It's called e-learning, and it's happening thanks to companies like Northwest Tel. Either the course isn't offered, or the students will have to maybe come down here to take the course as a boarding student. This eliminates all of that by offering the course live. And in person, public education, but supplemented by private funding. It's been happening for years. The Beaufort Delta School Board says it's critical for making sure students in the region keep up with students elsewhere in Canada. If you want to do more, and we've tried to do more、uh, over the years for students, then then you need to have partnerships. Students in the region needed calculators, so Conical Phillips stepped up. Compared to just like using just pencils and paper and taking all class just to do one equation, you can just like put the equation on here, graph it, and find out what you need. Eighty-five calculators just arrived for this class at East Three High School. Looks immediately much more like a computer. These calculators sell for almost two hundred dollars each. So without Conoco Phillips' support,、uh, we definitely would not have the money in our budget to fund such an initiative at this point in time. However, there's some concern about how private corporations are influencing public education. When you're funding education, this is not、uh, purely out of the goodness of their own hearts.、Um, They're interested in funding education because this is one of the key sites of controlling the way people think. So, how does the school board respond to that criticism? Well, they say that there's no hidden agenda behind the private funding. In fact, they say it's just about enhancing their students' English and math skills. David Thurton, CBC News, Inuvik.